going to give you a quick rundown of a project you can tackle at home. It's a DIY shadow box for your controllers. Get your shadow box at any home craft store. You're going to need a screwdriver depending on the controller. You might need different ones but I had one of these already. Pull apart the controller. This tr controller had five screws on the back one on the inside, take all your parts out, clean it up to your liking. After you got it all cleaned up, come up with a layout, however you want to lay it out, depending on the size of your shadow box, you might have more or less room to work with. There's a bunch of different layouts you can come up with. You're going to need your glue gun. After you got your layout out, you can mark it out, or you can freehand it like I did. Here's one that's finished. So you can see where I went and put all the glue. Different spots, some spots you can't see underneath the control bar, control board. Some spots you can see. The glue dries clear. I took some black paint right there and I went and touched up certain spots so you can't see it. And that's pretty much all there is to this project. You can get pretty involved with it, making different backgrounds I've seen with grid patterns, uh, schematics, and different different things. But this is pretty much it. Just pull the controller apart and start gluing. Clean it up. I still got to clean this one up so it's not so dirty. But that's it. Pull it apart and start gluing. It's pretty simple. You can do it yourself. Thanks for checking it out.